Let me tell you why I don't think you should buy any of the EG4 wall mount batteries, or server rack batteries for that matter, and the charge verter. Now to be clear, I am a big fan of EG4 stuff. Obviously I've got a charge verter, a wall mount battery, the conduit box, and a 12,000 XP. The 12,000 XP is bonkers amazing. I totally, totally love that. But I think if I had to do it over again, knowing what I know now, I'd do things differently. And that is, instead of buying a wall mount battery and a charge verter, I would simply buy a minimum of three of these Temgo golf cart battery kits. Now my reasoning may not work for everyone, but let me tell you why. Number one, cost. This is the same capacity as a server rack style battery. At the time making this video, I can buy five of these golf cart battery kits for still less than the cost of a single one of these EG4 wall mount batteries. Even if I just bought three of these kits, I'm going to have more total battery capacity than is in one of these wall mount batteries. These wall mount batteries are 14.3 kilowatt hours. If I had three of these, I would have something just north of 15 whole kilowatt hours. So I'd basically get a whole kilowatt hour more capacity. But the good stuff doesn't just stop there. The battery also includes a smart display with multiple pages of information about the battery. It also has a smart Bluetooth app with a whole bunch of information that you can access. But then included with the kit still is one of these awesome chargers. This actually has an IP water resistance rating and uh, you can see it's a 56.8 volt, 18 amp charger. That's included with every one of these kits. So if I got three of these kits, I'd get three of these chargers. This is the spec sheet for the charge verter. Look at this, 120 volt input, max output power, 3050 watts. So with three of these chargers, I'd basically be just shy of the equivalent of the max output that the charge verter can do with 120 volt power. Now I have a ton of flexibility with these. If I've got small generators, I can split up the load of these chargers to various generators, right? So maybe I just got a, a couple of those, you know, 2000 watt gas generators. Well, I could, uh, you know, plug one of these into each one and help spread the load out so the charge verter isn't loading all of that power onto one. I also have redundancy, right? If one of these breaks, I've got two more. But then we have got to talk about cost again too, because I just got all three of these chargers, quote unquote, for free with my battery. That charge verter almost costs the same amount as one of these entire kits. Other reason, this wall mount battery only has a 200 amp BMS. My 12,000 XP requires 250 amps. So technically you need a minimum of two of these wall mount batteries. This is a golf cart battery. It has a 200 amp BMS built in. So technically you only need a minimum of two to be able to run the 12,000 XP at full power. Now granted with just two of these, you will have less capacity than one of these wall mount batteries. As soon as you add three, now you've exceeded the capacity of the wall mount battery. So let me just put this in perspective. Okay, side by side comparison. Check out the total price of the Temgo battery kit. I put a quantity of three in my cart. Notice that there is no tax and no shipping, okay? Now contrast that to the cart from Signature Solar with a single indoor wall mount battery and a single charge verter. Yeah, we're talking vast differences of money. Now, there's going to be a bunch of you that say, well, uh, don't forget, uh, you know, this has, you know, built-in bus bars, and this has, you know, cables that are included. Uh, that is true, but if we're talking about getting a wall mount battery and a charge verter, keep in mind that the charge verter cannot plug directly into the bus bars of the battery. You still have to get external bus bars for this. So that's a wash, okay? I've got some external bus bars right here. These are 1000 amp rated bus bars. The built-in bus bar on the wall mount battery is a 600 amp bus bar. I argue that you have to buy bus bars regardless if you're getting a charge verter. Now, the cables are extra, but if we take a look here, you can buy five foot long cables, that's 60 inches of two watt size wire, which is the appropriate size for $67 at the time of filming this video. 
Now, the EG4 cables do come included, and it comes in at a whopping $160, basically, at the time of filming this video. So yes, you do have to add basically $67 worth of additional cables to the cost of this golf cart battery kit. But even with that factored in, you are still going to be substantially cheaper to buy this kit and multiples of them versus a wall mount battery and a charge verter. So where does the charge verter excel? Well, if you wanna charge directly off a 240 volt source, the charge verter is the way to go. It's small, it's compact, and it'll dump like 100 amps of current into your battery from a 240 volt power source. Now on the heels of that, you can use the Timgo kit to charge off 240 volt as well. All you have to do is get a little dog bone adapter. I'll put a picture up here on the screen and that allows you to tap into both legs of the 240 and it basically splits it out into two legs of 120. So you can still use the Temgo chargers on 240 just with that uh, simple adapter. And crazy but true, you can get five of these kits and still be under the cost of buying one wall mount battery and one charge verter. And you're basically gonna have the equivalent charging power with all five of these chargers working together as one charge verter. And huge amounts of battery storage more than a single wall mount battery. Almost, just shy. Uh, of double the capacity of that if you got five of these kits. These also have a water resistance rating. The indoor mount battery does not. The outdoor version does, but that's even more expensive. So I'm comparing this to the cheaper indoor mount version. Okay, so let me just uh, lay this all out uh, pros and cons for you. Pro number one to using the golf cart kits. As we discussed, significantly cheaper, more battery capacity, more battery continuous discharge current. It's got a 200 amp BMS, more redundancy, right? You could have a battery fail on you and it doesn't take as big of a bite out of your overall system as one of the wall mount batteries would. And side note to that, uh, they're a little easier to move around and uh, adjust and whatnot compared to the 300 plus pound behemoth of the wall mount battery. And then you get uh, more flexibility of what you can connect because you're going to automatically have these really nice external bus bars. So you can connect you know, external chargers, additional batteries, a whole slew of different things. Uh, obviously, you can see I've got all kinds of different batteries of all forms, shapes, and sizes all connecting into a system and these bus bars make that possible. Water resistance rating at no additional cost. And then obviously redundancy with the chargers. If you have one of the chargers fail, you've still got all the other ones working. If you have a single charge verter and it fails, you're out of luck. Okay, now let's talk about some cons because there are some cons with using the golf cart battery. Uh, first, a no UL listing. Uh, you won't pass an inspection using those golf cart batteries, most likely. Uh, they do not have uh, heaters built into them. And the EG4 wall mount batteries do have heaters built into them. Uh, no communication. So this is uh, a dumb battery as far as communicating with the inverter. Personally, I could care less about communication. That's just me. I know there's a lot of people out there that like that. And that is a nice benefit uh, to be able to have a fairly accurate idea of capacity remaining. Remembering, of course, that you can see your capacity with the uh, screen that's included with the battery as well as its app. But it's Bluetooth, so you won't see it over the internet like you would on the EG4 monitor app with the little Wi-Fi dongle that goes over here. The other cool thing is with communication, you can program the charge verter to turn on automatically at a certain depth of discharge, right? And, uh, and automatically kick in and start feeding this. It also has the dry contacts to automatically start and stop generators. These are dumb chargers. They do not have any of that fancy stuff. Another con is uh, stacking these batteries up a little ways and uh, trying to make them work may not be as clean as you know the wall mount battery going right into the conduit box, going right into the 12,000 XP. That is a very clean look, and you are gonna have you know, some cables coming out, and you've gotta figure out a way to store those. I think you could easily stack two on top of each other. That battery also fits perfectly on one of these shelves, and you can see they're very shallow. They're not quite as shallow as the wall mount battery, but, uh, but very, very close. And uh, those batteries fit beautifully 
on those shelves. I'll leave a link uh, to my battery shelves down in the description for you guys. And then I'm sure someone's going to bring up uh, the issue of uh, balance inconsistencies with these batteries. Yes, that uh, could be an issue where, you know, the BMS will balance the entire unit of batteries here in the wall mount battery, right? But with that said, you can see that I've had a lot of experience with uh, different size uh, batteries all working together in one system. They will get balanced so long as you either discharge them all the way down till everything shuts off. Not my most favorite way of uh, balancing everything. My personal favorite is to just bring everything up to a full 100% state of charge periodically. I do mine uh, typically every other week. Uh, that might be excessive, but uh, that's worked really good to just get everything back up in sync. There are also uh, balancers you can get and I actually use uh, some of them in these other battery racks over here that are active balancers. Uh, you can see one right up here and it will automatically keep up to four batteries balanced. I know for me, the cost savings would be a no brainer. That's the biggest driving force and some of those other pros that uh, this brings. So if I could go back and uh, redo it, I would do definitely just get a whole bunch of these Temgo golf cart battery kits and skip the whole wall mount battery and charge verter. That's just me personally. I'd love to hear everyone else's thoughts and uh, opinions in the comments section. So sound off down there on uh, what you guys think and uh, how you think the ultimate setup in terms of performance, flexibility, cost, you know, would be in your book. I, I can't wait to hear that. You guys always are so smart and have so many great observations and thoughts. If you like these kinds of videos that uh, I think bring real value uh, to the table and we're talking something close to almost 50 percent reduction in cost with even more performance be sure and do four free things for me like comment share subscribe those are four 100 percent free things for you to do but help tremendously support the free content i try to bring you guys i love free content we need more of it so show your love and uh, support of free content by doing your four free things i would really appreciate it We'll catch y'all next time.